welcome to your tutorial on third declension nouns. Now, unlike the first and second declensions, there really isn't a theme vowel as such in the third declension, and the endings are much more irregular than you saw in the first and second declension, so you've really just got to memorize these. Even so, there's a little bit of repetition that can help you out. Notice that the nominative and accusative plural is the same ending, ace. The dative and ablative plural is also the same ending, ibus. Now, I want you to be aware, this accusative plural, ace, there is an alternative poetic form you'll sometimes see. In poetry, the accusative plural of a third declension may be ees. Third declension can be either feminine or masculine. In the case of humans, for instance, the word when it describes a female, like mater, mother, will be feminine. When it describes a male, like pater, father, the word will be masculine. Actor and actrix, both third declension nouns, mean actor and actress, and are masculine and feminine, respectively. The third declension is very irregular. What you have on the slide are the dictionary entries of several examples of typical third declension nouns. Now, you need to be prepared that what you see in your reading may not be identical to what is the nominative singular ending listed in the dictionary. Get used to also looking at that second item because the root on which the rest of the endings after nominative singular is placed will be there for you in the example of the genitive singular. Okay. So here's an example now of how, when you have third declension nouns of different genders, you're going to use the appropriate genders for the adjectives. Rex bonus matrem suam honorat. The good king honors his mother. We use a masculine adjective with rex, which is a third declension noun, and we use a feminine adjective with matrem also a third declension noun. Be aware, there exist in Latin things called I-stems. In the third declension, sometimes you have an extra I that pops up. Otherwise, the noun urbs, city, is exactly the same as other third declensions. But instead of urbum, you have urbium, it's an I stem. Third declension endings are used for other things besides third declension nouns. They're used for present active participles and also for what we call third declension adjectives. These, the participles and adjectives, are also I stems. But in addition to the extra I you're going to have with the genitive plural, you're also going to see, instead of the short E you would have expected for the third declension, the ablative is a long I. And it's the same thing with the adjective. Instead of facilum, you have facilium. And instead of facile, you have facili for the ablative singular. There are also third declension nouns that are neuter. Like all neuters, the nominative and accusative singular will be identical, and the plural neuter will always be an A. In this particular case, if you didn't know better, you saw tempus, you might have thought this is a second declension noun. But when you looked in the dictionary and you saw that the genitive is IS, then you would have known that it is third declension, and your dictionary would also have told you, probably with the letter N, that it is a neuter. 
and then you would have known to expect this repetition. Otherwise, the endings of the third declension are normal throughout.